first and foremost, we have gotten our very first channel member. So we are doing our very first member shout out. That is one of the perks of the channel membership. If you guys didn't know, I only have one tier of membership. It's $2.99. And that's just because I don't feel promising like a bunch of extra videos and things like that so it's just a supporter tier early access to videos priority comment responses and member shout outs so shout out to Josh Cameron for becoming a supporter of the channel thank you very very much for everything first going forward if I do them like once a week or if I make a little graphic to go with the beginning of every video I'll have to figure that out thank you again Josh but today I want to talk about this and this is the R36S and it's an open source retro This game console, and I just found out about this semi recently. There's like a whole group of different handheld consoles that are designed to play retro games up to different systems depending on how powerful the console is. This one was just about $34, I believe, when I purchased it. There's this see-through black, see-through purple, and white. It has one gigabyte of DDR3 LRAM, 3.5 inch screen. It says it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but it doesn't actually have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. PSP, PS1, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Advance, Neo Geo. Lithium polymer, 3200 milliamp hour battery, lasting six hours. So, I got this uh, off AliExpress, like I said, just about $35 or so when I got it. It was on sale at the time. I'll put a screen capture or something up here in case you want to go pick one of these up for yourself. But this is designed just to play old retro video games. And I got this because, um, for a number of reasons, so... You know, if I want to, I've been playing emulators and like mobile games on my phone, which has been draining my battery, so I've been having to charge my phone more. So I think I have something like this. If I go into the city, my phone might be on like 20% battery by the end of the day, because I've been using it for like maps and like any games and like listening to podcasts or whatever while I'm on the bus or on the train. But something like this would let me use my phone less often. Hopefully save me some battery life, that's what I'm thinking. Also, just more options in general for games uh, than what you can get on mobile. It's a dedicated emulation device. And then, like, if I go somewhere without data or Wi-Fi, if I, like, go camping, if I'm laying in bed, I have my phone charging, I don't want to be on my phone. Just tons of options here. So I'll open up the box. on this and a lot of the reviews complained about the D-pad being a bit squishy. So I don't know if maybe they fixed it or something, but it feels really good in my opinion. Nice 
nice clicky buttons, some buttons on like some handhelds are like kind of soft because they have that membrane underneath. But those are nice clicky buttons. And then you have the two thumbsticks because this can play some PlayStation games, Dreamcast games, DS games, PSP. So having the sticks here. Then you have your start and select. Those are really clicky. And then a function button. Then on the back you have your triggers. L1, L2, R1, R2. Music game console. This is a pretty, pretty generic sticker there. And what's cool is... This has a removable battery, so you can charge it over USB-C, but you could also keep a backup battery or something. Because my plan for this is just to throw this in my bag, like when I go into the city or whatever when I'm on the bus. So this is just going to sit in my bag, I take it out when I get to my seat, and I can just play games on it for a couple hours. You have an SD card slot here. This has your system as well as your games. Now, these used to come with two. These used to come with two SD card slots. This is meant to be the one with the games, but it looks like now they've consolidated down to one. So let's take that film off the screen. And let's turn it on. Now there's some updates and some other things that I'm going to do with this before I start using it. But we'll just take a look at it now. As you can see, here's Arco S 2.0. That's the software. And it's loading up emulation. That's very loud. Let me turn that down. So it loads up emulation station. Now it's already selected some favorites. Like I haven't, this is my first time turning this on, so I don't know how it, um, has assumed the favorites of Michael Jackson's move. I used to actually have this back in the day. I used to play this game. But as you can see, you have Capcom Play, St uh, play System, you have Punisher, Ghouls and Ghosts, I love Ghouls and Ghosts, a couple different, there's I think you see how many games, 2032 games, 37 games, only 4 games here. Um, this is Arcade. Oh, Teenage Ninja Turtles Arcade, right? PC Engine. And you can see the artwork here and like a screenshot, which is really cool. Family Computer. It says Top 100, Super Mario Brothers 3, Legend of Zelda. Super Nintendo, this was like one of my first consoles. And as you can see here, that doesn't have the artwork for all these, for any of these games it seems. Family Computers, Super Nintendo. I guess it's a different Super Nintendo, I don't know. Nintendo 64. Now some of these games don't like perform as well as other systems. Like Nintendo 64 is a bit tough to emulate. And from what I understand, um, PSP can be difficult to emulate as well. Um, but like for games that are less graphic intensive, it works fine on these systems. You just have to kind of pick and choose. And we have Nintendo DS, but obviously there's no touch screen here, so you can only do um, games that don't use touch functionality. Dreamcast. Um, PlayStation, only 23 games on PlayStation. I don't see Final Fantasy VII, so... Like I said, I'm going to be taking this SD card out and 
getting rid of a lot of these games because I probably won't be playing most of them, keeping the ones I will play, and then adding on ones that, um, you know, getting rid of some of these, like, maybe not any of those, but, like, there's 1,200 Sega Genesis games, I don't need all those, there's 2,099 Game Boy Color games, like, I'm not gonna play a majority of those, I'm gonna go through and trim down the list, like, 3,600 Game Boy games, but let's try something out here, let's go PlayStation, and let's go, what's something, let's maybe go, GB. Settings, so there's different themes. So, epic. It'll reload. So, this is epic. I don't like this at all. This one's pretty decent, the Nest Box. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I like that. Let's go DS and let's go, let's do Mario, oh, Mario Brothers. I don't think this is gonna use the touchpad at all. So we'll see how the game works here. Loads up Nintendo, see, New Super Mario Brothers. Now I think it's there. Yeah. You load up that to show your second screen. But I don't think we need the second screen here. So we need it's that easy. That just goes between in case there's a map or something on the bottom screen you need to see for a video game. Oh, Peach has been kidnapped. Possibly seen that coming. No, actually, I have played this game on the DS, so I know a bit about it. This we can D-pad or here. See, boom. I'm playing like while watching through my camera screen here, so you'll have to like forgive me being bad. jumps, all your moves, everything, boom, 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 oh, flattened them, can we go down this pipe, nope, oh wait, is this giant Mario, let's go, and as you can see, it's a pretty good emulation, through this little screen. Um, now 
There's a reset button, I guess. I'm sure there's a better way to go back to the menu. I just have to, like, got a fingerprint on the screen. I just have to, like, research it a bit more. But yeah, so, like I said, I'm gonna be taking this out and uh, updating all this, but let's go. Uh, super. Oh wow, the volume's back. Okay, so the volume always comes back full volume. Super Street Fighter 2. This is a game I played a bit of. Oh, there I am. Hello. <laughs> this is a game I used to play quite a bit of um, when I was younger. I think I had the at the tournament edition. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, because this is Super Nintendo, so we're using to use Ryu. Let's go Ryu. We go to Brazil, so we're fighting Blanca. Spazzing out. How long we get around to here? I need to get a token off. Can't do it. I can get a dragon kick, but I can't get a token. That's all I'm trying to do. Actually, let's do um, let's do PlayStation. Do we have Bushido Blade? We don't. Uh, let's go Castlevania. This is a pretty good Castlevania game for the original PlayStation. Oh, is there an ISO issue? It said. Oh no. Okay, we got it. Was about. I definitely I need to add Final Fantasy 7 to this. I need to add Medieval to this. I don't know if you guys remember Medieval. Select your destiny. Title select. Name change. Uh, oh, file select. Okay. Turning back to 
1792 in the Transylvania countryside of Romania. Skip that. Symphony of the Night. I don't think I've ever played this before, but I know this is one of the better uh, loved Castlevania games. Where am I? Here I am. So we have Jump, Whip, and that's some sort of that is, oh wow, okay, I might have just wasted that. Got a cross. Wow, we have a flaming whip now. Richter. Richter, die monster, you don't belong in this world. Dracula. We are already fighting Dracula. Steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Let's see, I think I want to do it. Am I, I'm not going to fight Dracula right now, am I? Sound is still on a little bit there. Okay, no, I'm not fighting Dracula. Oh, oh, hello. Boom. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to kill him here. There he is. Boom, boom. I got a potion and a cross. Oh, I got, I got a lot of damage there. Let's use that potion. Oh wow, it's like raining. How, how is this already the part of the game I'm at? I guess I've never played this before and we're somehow already fighting Dracula here. I think we, we are meant to die. I don't think we're meant to beat this. Oh, oh we dodged that one. Oh, oh, I jumped right into it. Yeah, okay, we got a story beat here. Boom, boom. Oh my gosh, those are all animals. Super power day. Oh wow, I can actually hit the fireballs. I did not realize that. I can't hit those. Oh, I'm invincible though. I can only hit him when I jump, I suppose. Just gonna be sitting here playing, um, playing Castlevania if we keep that up. Maybe I'll look at one more system because we just did. We did PlayStation. We did Nintendo DS. Um, I thought there's there's one other one. I already forgot. Oh, Super Nintendo or Super Famicom, I guess. Let's look, let's look at a game that it might struggle with, because I said there are a couple systems that this doesn't like it can technically play, but it can struggle with them a bit. And that would be our PSP games, especially like our more um, graphics intensive games. So if we load, load up Vice City Stories, this is going to have pretty bad FPS. So just to demonstrate, like, this isn't perfect, this thing definitely has some drawbacks, but for, like, $34, like, I'm not really upset about it, to be honest, like, I'm probably just gonna, for PSP games, I'm probably gonna just throw in, like, Crisis Core, um, and maybe, like, 
like Virtua Tennis, there's a golf game that was that was on PSP that I had growing up. Because uh, I had a PSP when I was younger, but we'll see how Vice City Stories runs here. Just as like an example. Let's get into the game here. Now the PSP did not have two joysticks, so it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with this second joystick because the PSP only had one. Yeah, so you're already getting some stutters. Like it is technically like you could play this if you don't mind a little bit, but there are, as you can see, there's stutters for sure. It's not a smooth experience. Now it is my understanding that, um, If you update the system, you can you get better stability because this is running an older build of the operating system. And like I said, I was gonna go in and um, I was gonna go in and update and curate the game system whatever else. So I might be able to sneak a little bit more performance out of this thing, but you're seeing some pretty significant slowdown here. So it's definitely not perfect by any means. But for the amount of money I paid for this and for the use case I'm going to be using this for, I think this is a great value. Um, so you have the R36 as you can get on AliExpress. I guess it'll put a picture or something up there. Let's turn it off now. I need to hold the power button until the light turns off. There it goes. Real quick, I'm just gonna see if there's anything else in the box. There is, there is a charging cable. Oh, and a screen protector that'd have been nice to use before I uh, put my fingerprints all over the screen. But there is a screen protector, so I'll put that on after I stop recording, and then a little instruction manual. So, power key, reset, game, volume plus, minus, game keys, joystick, select home, right shoulder buttons. Oh, and this is good. Okay, so brightness adjustment is R3 plus up, down, save, read, game, select plus on R1, save location, select plus up, down, exit game is select plus start. So that's good. So select looks like it's, I'm not sure it's the function key. The point of that is, do, 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 64 bit, oh, excuse me, 64 bit, four core Cortez A7, 1.5 gigahertz CPU, five volt to amp fast charging, 10 emulators, dual DF card, supports max 256 gigs, 3.5 inches HD screen. So, that is the R36S, super cool little handheld device. Um, yeah, if this is something that appeals to you, check it out. This is, this is new to me. I just heard of this a couple weeks ago. But this is like, this fills a niche I didn't realize I was missing in my life. And it's, uh super cool device. I'm really excited to play around with it a bit more, get it more to my likings as far as the games and setup and stuff, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this almost every single day. And until next time, guys. Bye-bye.